Hey guys, Sara here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to chat about this guy. Uh, so it's a new pen day video. Um, I actually have this inked up in February, but this is my first chance I've been able to sit down and do a video about it. <clears throat> so it will be a little bit different. Usually when I do a new pen day video, I, I really haven't tried out the pen at all. This one I have been writing with, so I can give you some, some more thoughts on it. So I'll just move this up to the side. Jumping straight in, this is a Franklin Christoph Model 46, and it has an extra fine flex nib. I bought this secondhand off Facebook Marketplace from someone who's also in the Fountain Pen Australia Facebook group. I have always liked the look of Franklin Christoph's. Um, I guess my my dream Franklin Christoph pen is probably a smaller model and in the vintage green. I love the vintage green, um, but I'm really intrigued. I, I, I like the look of all the pens um, and this one was listed at a good price. So I bought it because I really wanted to try a Franklin Christoph pen. In terms of first impressions, like it is a little bit dirty in there, so I do need to clean that out. But it feels nice in the hand. It's weighted, I feel, quite evenly. This is a pen for me that um, I don't post. It makes it feel back heavy for me. It also doesn't feel overly secure. It's just kind of like a push to post, but it doesn't feel really secure, but I don't really write with posted pens anyway. Um, it feels nice. Uh, the first kind of time I used it, I did find my, my fingers kind of sliding down and really pressing up against that little indentation in there at the top of the section. But I think I'm just really finding my grip with it. I, I do wonder if this section is just a touch too small because my finger does want to sit over it. It doesn't bother me too much. It, 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 it's bothered me once when I did a lot of writing with it. But for kind of day-to-day -day journaling, it, it hasn't affected me that much. Opening it up, it's just got a Franklin Christoph converter in there, super easy to fill, etc. I'll just do some a size comparison for you and then we can jump into some writing samples. So Franklin Christoph model 46 and that is a Lamy All Star. What's going to roll? So posted, they are pretty similar, the Lamy All-Star, just a touch bigger. And then let's open them up. This is when they're going to go rolling away. So again, that Lamy All-Star, just a touch bigger. But if then, if I was actually to do this and you look at the nibs, the Franklin Christoph has an obviously bigger nib. And... You can see, I guess, the different in section size, and maybe that's why my finger's kind of creeping up here. If I'm to line the nibs up at the bottom there, the Lamy All Star section is actually almost double, maybe just under. One thing I have noticed with this pen, and I don't know if it's user error, which it could be, is a couple of times when I've pulled it out to use, the cap's been a little bit loose, just that tiny bit. Like really just like that. It hasn't dried the pen out or anything, but I, I think I've been tightening it enough because I don't want to over tighten, but um, I'm not sure if there's something with the seal there. It's like it just backs off a little bit. So that is just something I'm aware of and I'm trying to make sure I do tighten it properly but not overly. Uh, I guess that's still a bit trial and error. That's what the top of the cap looks like. And... Let's see if I can show you the, see there's a little bit of grime in there that I can clean out and there's nothing on the bottom. And this is what the close-up of the feed looks like. And let's do a writing sample. This is currently inked with Robert Oster Muddy Crown. Just open up to a page here. I only have my Stalogy with me today, and so I do think we'll get some feathering because anything with flex in on this paper, it just feathers like crazy. 
which is okay, but it's also, and I can't believe I'm saying this, making me think about do I need to find something else to journal in? As I get to know pens more, I do want wetter writers and it doesn't really deal with it, but I feel like I'm breaking up with a, <laughs> with a, I don't know, it feels like the end of a relationship if I was to do that. Anyway, let's do this and then I'm going to try and film a, a planner journaling update video after this so I can cry about it in there. So this is what I'm going to do first is I'm going to write no pressure. So just normal. This is the Franklin. Model 46. And it has an extra fine flex. So again, this is with no pressure. What I love, I think about the fact that it is a flex pen, even when you're not flexing, it makes the extra fine uh, a wet writer and it probably reads more like a fine of some of my other pens. I'm just going to see what I have with me to see if I can compare it to a fine. What's in here? This is a fine nib of a gin how. What if I just write extra fine there? Similar line width, but as it goes down, it puts down a really, really nice amount of ink. So if I am to then flex, now you're not going to get crazy line variation because it is still an extra fine and if you go too fast you can see that you do get railroading so this is going fast and now I'm going to get progressively slower and also just lighten up my pressure a little bit so you do get some railroading but to be honest I wasn't expecting tons of flex from an extra fine nib. What I kind of like is the, the that it gives a little bit more wetness and that it can give a little bit more character is probably how I think about it. And please excuse the feathering that is because it's a Stellagy. That's not the pen. So this is going not as crazy with my pressure and writing slower. And you can see that you do Ooh, went a bit too much there. You do get some line variation. And I know for some people they'd sit there and go, oh, that's hardly anything, where's the flex? But it's a, it is still an extra fine nib. So for me, that that's an extra fine, I, I don't mind that it isn't crazy different. I like just like the little bits. It, I think this is probably a flex pen that wouldn't suit everyone's needs if you wanted something super wet and juicy and flexy this isn't it but if you wanted an extra fine with with some character that that to me is what this is so I'm gonna write kind of normally and you'll see kind of the limits of of the pressure that there is and then I'll write again adding a bit more pressure Let's see if I can write a bit bigger here I find when I write bigger that my writing isn't as neat, but it's probably better for videos. So as you can see there, there's really no line variation, but it lays down really nice amounts of ink. And you can kind of see from the pressure, like on that downstroke, it's darker there. So you're getting, it's almost like some faux shading um, just by the different amounts of ink being laid down. Don't mind that. Let's try now. I don't have very good cursive writing. And you can see as I speed up, it is starting to railroad. So writing flex with this pen for everyday writing isn't something that I do. I just kind of write like this and I still enjoy it as a pen like that because to write in my journal this slowly doesn't really make sense to me. I hate doing R's. So 
So writing in flex is something I probably save more for headings or if I'm just wanting to practice cursive, because you can see that it does railroad. But I think when you don't apply pressure, I think it is a nice, definitely wetter extra fine, which I love because I love writing in extra fines and fines. So for me, it's almost a little bit of the best of both worlds. I'll just show you in print as well. I'm going to lift that up before it completely dries. Can you see? It dries a bit too quickly. That's actually another positive. This pen actually, for as wet as it feels, it dries relatively fast which I like as well because I am a chronic smudger, brown fox. I'm just going to be quiet now just so you can hear the sound of the feedback. It's really smooth across the page. So what you're hearing there, I think it's it's just the sound of the of the tipping material. It is not scratchy, it's not dragging, nothing. It glides, glides absolutely across the page. This is just doing some quicker figure eights with less pressure. And even in there, I think you can get some little bits of line, <clears throat> pardon me, line variation and definitely some shading, which is nice. I'm not confident enough with my cursive writing to to kind of get that. A cursive is something that I'm still practicing because um, if I do fast cursive, I don't really think you see the, the variation in there, but you can kind of see what it can do and then also its limitations. But all in all, I think that's a really great pen. I quite like the nib, but I definitely think it, it wouldn't be for everyone. So just something to keep in mind. So that, guys, is the Franklin Christoph Model 46 with an extra fine flex nib. I think for me, love this pen, works really well. I think it's a particular type of flex, which suits my writing style because I don't it makes it into like a wetter extra fine. But if you're looking for something super flexy, it, it might disappoint you a little bit. But I think if you do like extra fine and fine nibs, this is a really good option. I really enjoy writing with it. That cap thing is just something I'm trying to work out. But otherwise, um, I really, really love this pen. It's working really nicely for me. That is going to be the end of this video. I would love to know if you guys have a Franklin Christoph. What model do you have? What do you like? And if you have that, if you have a vintage green, let me know because I, <laughs> are they as beautiful in real life as they look like on Instagram and on the computer? Because I think they just look stunning. Thank you so much for watching. If you could hit like and subscribe, that would be great. And I'll chat to you guys again soon. See you later.